Hey everyone, welcome back to Unknown Goals. We have a box today from Dark Sword Armory. I've heard they do some pretty good stuff. I haven't seen anyone do an unboxing from them before, so we're gonna start that right now. Uh, this box is massive, by the way. Coming in at 57 inches in total, that's four feet and nine inches. And it's just a behemoth of a box. That's amazing. So they give us a poster with promotional swords and items, other weaponries that they sell on their websites. And on the back, it comes with sword stands and poses. So that is really cool. Sticker. That's really cool. They give us a Dark Sword Armory card. And the weapon in question. And that is the Andrul Sword from Dark Sword Armor. Uh, let's see, really quick. It is in sheath a total of. 51 inches long. Uh, the sheath measures at about two and a half inches. Two and a half inches, give or take. Wow. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful. The sheath seems to be made of leather and wood. That is the Dark Sword Armory Fungal Sword. It measures itself at 48 inches total, blade length of 36 inches, and grip length of one foot. And that is beautiful. Very well, very well balanced. It does not feel overly heavy in the handle. It does not feel overly heavy in the sword. Let's see. Let's see if I can't find the middle. Nope. Right there. So about two inches off the handle is where the middle is. Where the middle balance is. Handle is a little bit wrapped. There's runes going all the way up both sides of the blade with a Dark Sword Armory insignia, Dark Sword Armory insignia right above. Spring steel, uh, 1050 high carbon spring steel. So it can bend and it stays true. I'm not gonna do any kind of extreme test on this, but I've seen some of the videos of where they can bend these past 90 degrees and they spring back to where they're supposed to be. That is amazing. And welcome back, we're outside now. Uh, apologies for the AC unit, it's making a bunch of noise right now. We're just gonna be cutting some stuff right now. Now, we've opened this sword probably about 25 minutes or so ago, and we're gonna be doing a cutting test with it. And so I've got three targets. This one right here is the thinnest plastic of all three of the targets, but it is also the heaviest, so it should cut through it very easy. This one has thicker plastic, but a little less heavy. And the final target, is the lightest of all three, but also the thickest of all three. So this will really see how well it cuts. I'd like to also mention, I have not sharpened this. I have ordered it from the company and they say that it has come pre-sharpened. So we are going to see out of the box sharpness, how well this does. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> That's super cool. <laughs> Should I go again? Try again. Wow, that's really impressive.
That's like really cool. I don't think I have enough to do another one. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hit the garbage can, but let's inspect the damage. Oh man. That is, that is beautifully just in half, in thirds, I guess, but apart. Look at that. Okay, it's not gonna, it's not gonna stand up, but that is, that is wickedly sharp. I'm feeling a lot better about the uh, second and third test. I think it'll, I think it'll get that last bottle. This one didn't really scare me just because of how thin it is, but that last one is a lot thicker. I'm very unconfident about this last test. I don't. Nope. I cut the plastic on it. You would be dead if that hit you. You would, you would not be okay if that hit you. That would, that would be a very bad thing. Holy crap, it hit it hard enough that it wrapped around the sword, you can see, because there's no way I would have gotten that in just a flat hit. But if this was you, you would be having a very bad day. Clean little stabby stab. I'm actually surprised at how much water this bottle's retaining after being stabbed multiple times. So this has been my review of the Andrul Sword from Dark Sword Armory. Overall, very satisfied with this product. I'm really looking forward to probably getting it up a little sharper, but overall, amazing craftsmanship and really, really good customer service and fast response time on when it was going to be shipped. And when it was shipped, it was within the seven to 14 days, like they said, and I couldn't be more happy. Thanks for watching and have a good night.